this is a story by Ron Ortiz. Jinta and Cuba. Cuba missed the security of her mother very much. It took Jinta days to get the little Cuba to eat and sleep without shaking. As time moved on, the two grew very close, never leaving each other. Jinta took Cuba every place he went. Even on his hunts, Cuba would lay quiet while Jinta would move in on the kill for their meals. It wasn't long before Cuba would help. She would point to where the males would hide. Jinta was very good with his favorite weapons, the spear, bow and arrow, and sling. With the skills he acquired from Hugh, no enemy stood a chance in combat. Within seconds, Jinta could render an enemy helpless. Their favorite time to hunt was at night. With Jinta's dark skin and Kuba's black coat, no one would see them move in the shadows. Sometimes they were just used to trees jumping and swinging from tree to tree. Kuba grew to be a very large panther with her power unmatched by any large cat. Jinta also grew to be a very large man himself. Together they played and hunted in their favorite hunting grounds. Jinta built a very large camp full of secret traps just in case they had an unexpected visitor. Cooper put her scent everywhere to warn other animals. Nothing ever survived an attack on Jinta and Cooper. One day on a hunt, they met a very powerful male lion on a hunt who made the mistake of sneaking up on Jinta. He met an arrow and a fierce claw at the same time. He never, he never knew what hit him. <laughs> Jinta made a nice rug in his hut for Cuba to sleep on from that lion's coat. 